Aida for getting angry with my girlfriend and demanding she pay to replace my sheets after she got blood on them throwaway for privacy I, M26, have been dating my girlfriend, F24, for about a year now, and we recently moved in together. She didn't have a lot of furniture and such, so it's mostly mine in our apartment including my bed, frame, mattress, sheets. I am a bit of a neat freak, and she generally is too, so we get along pretty well living together. Now I'm not one of those guys that gets grossed out over a woman having her menstrual cycle. I've had sex with my girlfriend on lighter days with a towel down. I'll go buy her feminine products. I don't get weirded out if she mentions it. I will say though, it totally grosses me out getting on my bed though. Well a few days ago when we woke up I noticed a blood spot on the bed and got totally grossed out. I knew she had been on her period for three days already so it wasn't any sort of surprise accident. I asked how it happened and she was upset and said she thought she didn't need to sleep with anything on. I told her that was absurd. Why would you go without wearing anything and get blood all over my bed? I told her that was irresponsible and that she needed to pay me for new sheets. She agreed to pay for new sheets but got upset with me for getting angry and calling her irresponsible. She said that she likes to not wear anything when she can. She said she thought her flow was light and she wouldn't bleed overnight. She says I have no reason to be angry to talk down to her over something I don't experience. I said that she should have been more careful with where we sleep and that it was unhygienic Aida for getting upset and wanting her to pay. ETA. A lot of people seemed confused by what I said, not wearing anything. She was wearing her normal pajamas, just no menstrual products. She said since she's on birth control she is very light on day 3 and doesn't ever bleed on the sheets. It still seems unreasonable to me to not have something for extra coverage just in case. To everyone saying to just wash the sheets, she did. But I just don't like the thought of it. Second edit. I obviously see that I was a prick for being condescending towards her and not being sensitive to her embarrassment. I told her I was going to replace the sheets myself. She got upset again saying she didn't want to financially burden me every time she could potentially have a leak and that washing them was good enough. I told her I obviously just have a weird phobia with it I need to work through. I did ask her to wear products every night until she knows it's gone, and she called me ignorant, and had no right to suggest how she handles her period. She's coming to get her stuff to stay with her mom, so it feels pretty over. I'm sure many of y'all will be happy to hear. Third. Yep, she says it's definitely over. I tried taking what some of you said about understanding that the flow fluctuates and all that, but she said the damage was done. Lol. I'm fine with blood on my dick when I'm having sex but I don't know how to wash sheets, YTA. ETA. Wow, thanks everyone for the awards and upvotes. No response from op so maybe he learned his lesson or this is rage bait. This is just a reminder that we should focus on teaching children that bodies are just bodies. They all have bodily functions and they aren't gross. Whether it's an accidental drop of blood or a nighttime emission. A little cold water and the washing machine cleans it up. No need to be too embarrassed or freak out at someone. Maybe we need home EC back to teach kids to use washing machines too. Oh my god you are probably the biggest asshole I have ever seen on this, I'm sorry but this is outrageous. First of all, it would be normal for you not to get freaked out about talking about it or buying her hygiene products. Nothing to be praised. As a woman, I would have packed my bags and left in that moment because you are clearly not mature enough to be with a woman or maybe you need to educate yourself a bit better. A woman could have her period for 30 years and each week she has it can be different. I've often thought it was gone and a day later I realize it's not. You can't see inside your body and will never know how heavy or light it would be. A blood spot on your bed and you freak? I cannot believe a man would behave like this. I could have imagined how embarrassed that poor woman must be. Something she cannot control and you embarrass her like that. I've gotten blood on the bed before and my boyfriend has never batted an eyelid. I actually cannot believe what I just read. YTA greater than now I'm not one of those guys that gets grossed out over a woman having her menstrual cycle. And hash x 200 b Greater than well a few days ago when we woke up I noticed a blood spot on the bed and got totally grossed out. Dude, make your mind up. Also, even when a lady wears a pad, something still can leak, it happens. New sheets? Why? Clean them. YTA. Accidents happen. Stain remove. Wash the sheets and move on. You say you're supportive, but you don't really understand periods. She could have also worn a pad and had it leak. Or had her period stop and then surprise. Show back up for one more day after you think it's done. 
That's just what it's like to have a period. Yta. Menstrual flow is not as predictable as men seem to believe and she wouldn't be the first woman on the planet to think she was done for this cycle only to get an unexpected gush in the middle of the night. Also, seems hyperbolic to accuse her of, getting blood all over your bed, when you initially describe it as a, spot. I think you're not really as evolved about this as you suppose you are. You scolded her like a child over something her body does, that she doesn't have 100% control over and called her, unhygienic, in other words, dirty. Let me assure you, what comes out of you isn't a delight either. It was an accident. How would you want to be treated if you had an accident in the bed? ETA. I just don't like the thought of it, on, there it is. YTA. Do you buy new sheets after each time you have sex? Your ejaculate is not exactly our favorite thing either. Grow up. YTA and I'm not sorry for how hard you are about to get dragged. Grow up. And, YTA. People aren't perfect. She made an honest mistake, and you were in awe about it. As a woman, there are definitely days, nights where you think, I'm good now, and then the opposite turns out to be true. Go apologize. Yta. Wash the dang sheets. It's not like her uterus has some kind of vendetta against you. Info. Did you actually try washing the sheets before losing your mind? Okay so upon reading your edits I'm going full blown Yta edited to add judgment. Yta this stuff happens. If you don't want to deal with period blood then date a man. Also hydrogen peroxide removes blood surprisingly effectively. You didn't need to get upset and call her irresponsible over an accident. Yta grow up. Love, like life, is messy. People poop, deary, and they barf, drool, sweat, bleed and do a lot of other things. Just wait till you have kids and the boys piss right in your face. You are clearly not mature enough to have any kind of adult relationship. You can wash sheets, lovey ducks. Try it. Yta. She told you she would get you new sheets. Accidents like this can happen even if you are, responsible. Blood stains can be washed out of the sheets. Been there, done that. You, major asshole. Go apologize. A hey, lol, YTA. I, I ended up bloodying my sheets plenty of times after thinking my period ended, and then a surprise happened. You know what my partner did? He helped me change the sheets and wash it. I read the edits and I'm coming late to the party, but I just have to chime in. You know YTA. Do yourself a favor now, since you're single again, and take steps to educate yourself. Perhaps also get some therapy, I'm not kidding, to sort out your inability to be understanding and compassionate with someone you love. This goes far, far beyond period blood and replacing sheets. I'm so amazingly proud of your girlfriend for picking up on the horrifyingly large red flags behind your seemingly simple missteps, and acting decisively to end her relationship with you. YTA. Blood comes out of sheets. There's no need for new ones just because you got the heebie-jeebies, especially if you're willing to have sex when she has her period. Absurd, and, irresponsible, and, get blood all over my bed, are way over the top for a leak. Even if it was avoidable in some way, and accidents happen, even at the most careful times. It's just how bodies are. If you're scared of bodily fluids, maybe just date yourself. YTA for getting upset about an accident. Sometimes I think my period won't start for several days and it comes wildly early. I'm not going to sleep with a pad or period panties for two weeks before I'm scheduled to start just because of accidents. I'll do it for a day or two but it's 100% for my benefit of not having PJ pants full of blood. And sometimes women think they're done and their bodies play tricks on them. I don't understand getting that upset with her when you're willing to have sex with her while she's bleeding but you're fuming about some blood on sheets. YTA. You're okay with having sex with her on her period but can't deal with dirty sheets? Also, telling her what she should do in regards to her period is an asshole move. 